Good morning, Ludlow High School. I'm Ryder Hastings. And I'm Dave Majaleski. Welcome to the Friday, February 12th edition of the Lions Roar. Before we get into the show, can you guys all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention seniors, you should have all received papers to complete your wills, quotes, and prophecies in your English classes. This will appear in your 2016 yearbook. These papers must be returned to editors Nick Tavares, Adrian Risha, or to the folder outside of Mrs. Compolanian's room, E201, by February 23rd. Attention class of 2018, vote for your favorite t-shirt design for our new class t-shirt. You can see the three design options and cast your vote in either Miss Valentine's room, D206, or Miss Sand's room, D202. Today's the last day to get your vote in. Ludlow High School is having its very first a cappella group. Auditions will be held after school in the chorus room A117, February 25th and 26th. Please see Stephanie Berduccio if you have any further questions. Attention seniors, this is just a reminder that $35 is now due for your cap and gown. After today, the payment goes up to $40. Student Council is sponsoring a Red Cross blood drive on Thursday, March 3rd. Students can sign up during all three lunches. Your donation of one pint of blood will help three people. It's time to get your teams together for Dodgeball Marathon. This year's event will take place on Friday, March 4th from 4 to 10 p.m. Each team should be made of 7 to 10 players and cost is $100 per team. Paperwork must be submitted by Friday, February 26th. You can pick up your team packet from either Miss Valentine or Miss Sands in D202. So Dave, what are your plans for February break? Well Ryder, thanks for asking. My plans are just going to be balling up because ball isn't just a sport for me no more. It's a way of life now. How about you? Oh well, I'm probably going to sit in a dark room and read the Harry Potter series. Very nice. With snow days and February vacation, it seems like we're not spending much time at school this month. This week, Pat found out what everyone is doing with their days off. So what are your plans for February break? Uh, I'm just going to enjoy all of my free time and watch a lot of The Office. I'm probably going to go skiing with my dad. Uh, I'm probably going to wake up at 4.30, read some books, make some family, I mean, make some breakfast for my family. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to run by Big Y, get some produce from Sergi. Uh, love a Big Y. Um, I plan on skiing, just having fun. I'll be chilling with some friends. Uh, plan on sleeping, cheer, more sleeping. Um, I'm just going to be hanging around with family and friends, uh, maybe do some day trips. Uh, I think I'm just going to hang out with my friends, probably go to my friend Keith's house and uh, just have some fun. So how do you feel about the amount of snow days we've been having? Do you like them? Do you hate them? I love them. I wish we had more. I enjoy them a lot because I get to relax. Well, get more sleep, so it's all good. Due to the fact that February break is next week, there will be no lunch serve. So let's go over to Pat Smalls for this weekend's forecast. Thanks, guys. Today, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 28 and a low of 11. Tomorrow, it will be pretty warm because it will be cloudy with a high of 11 and a low of negative 11. And on Sunday, it will be sunny with a high of 12 and a low of 5. Now, back to you guys. Let's take a look at some upcoming games. Tonight, the girls' basketball team has a game against Agawam. Home at 7 o'clock. Tomorrow, the hockey team will take on Westfield at Olympia at 6 p.m. On Monday, the boys' basketball team will head to Sabbath for a game at 7. Here are a few scores to report on from past week. On Saturday, your favorite puck team came up with the big W over Agwam, 5-3. On Saturday, the wrestling team had a quad meet. They had two wins, one over Westfield, 48-15, and a close win over Minnichog, 36-33. They lost one meet to West Springfield by a score of 40 to 33. That's it for this week's show, guys. I'm Ryder Hastings. And I'm Dave Majaleski. Enjoy your vacation. We'll see you in two weeks. Hope Happy your weekend, weekend doesn't, doesn't fly by. by.